Hi Virgo, welcome to your February 2023 tarot reading with me. This is going to be a reading for Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising for this month. So hopefully all of you had a happy Valentine's Day for those of you who celebrate. I do have the Hermit card here, Virgo, on um, on the, t the top of the deck here. And for those of you who don't know, this is the ruling card for Virgo. For me as a tarot reader, I always shuffle and connect for the, to the Hermit card. Um, when I'm reading for the sign of Virgo, it lets me know that you guys are here and present and that the messages are connected and aligned. So here at the beginning of the reading, I would like to go over your energetic lineup, which is basically some kind of a story that's aligned in the cards after a significant amount of shuffling. There's an extra message here for you, and it's going to let me know more about the themes of impact and the things that are affecting you the most, Okay. So we know that the Hermit card is you. This is also the card of reflection, isolation, and solitude. It can even represent a little bit of loneliness, but it is the wisest tarot card um, in the deck. And we have the Four of Pentacles right behind you, Virgo. In many ways, this is the most important card because it's the closest to your energy. This is the energy of holding on tightly to your values and your possessions. And I do want to take this time to remind you, Virgo, that you have a, um, we haven't even really talked about astrology yet, but um, February is, is really important, especially after the 18th of February, because we're shifting into Pisces season, which is your opposite polar opposite sign in astrology. And that talks about relationships and partnerships and other people's feelings and emotions. Okay. So um, there's, there's definitely this, um, shift in energy at the end of February after the 18th. We have a new moon in Pisces on the 20th. So that's going to be a great time for new relationships for Virgo all the way between now and your solar return Virgo season um, um, in August, September, August time. So uh, yeah, lots of important energies going on. And then the full moon in Virgo on March 7th is also going to be really, really significant. So mark your calendar for that. That's going to be really involving your energy and your opposite sign energy, Pisces. Um, and then the March 7th is also the day that Saturn is shifting into your opposite sign. So you're about to be opposed by Saturn, Virgo. I'm going to make a whole different video about that at some point between now and the next month. But that's a lot of responsibility. We'll talk about that later. Um, but back to this Four of Pentacles, this is your energy as an earth sign. It's Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And it's talking about saving your money for a foundation. It's a really good card for stability and security. But we have to be careful not to hold on too tightly to people, places, and things that we value because we're afraid to lose them. The more you hold on to something, the less it feels like it belongs to you anyway. So this is holding on tightly but letting go lightly to the point where you're not completely wrapped up in whatever this is because the Four of Pentacles is quite immersed in these whatever this is uh, the the pinnacles beneath his feet are being operated his hands are all bound up even his head so there's not much of you left um so be careful holding on too tightly but saving your money this could be four hundred dollars forty dollars um but also letting go you could feel like something is holding on to you as well because this is quite a death grip okay the four of pinnacles it's the card of a miser like a penny pincher and we do have the Ace of Wands coming out next. So there's some kind of a new spark in your energy right now. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be a sexual encounter or a potential flame. Um, this is uh, something that's manifested or expressed. It's a really exciting new beginning that gets you on fire again. So if you let go a little bit, there might be room for a new beginning to spark. And this could be quite unexpected. There could even be unexpected sexual encounters or acts of intimacy with this combination. We have the energy of Mars showing up here, Scorpio and Aries, but this is shock and sudden shift surrounding this new beginning. It's like someone lets go a little bit, loosens up here. There's new sparks and excitement unexpectedly, and it kind of breaks something else or someone else down. Whatever this is, it might be a false foundation so that we can rebuild after that chaos. This could happen to do, um, this could have something to do or be related to the home environment, the financial fulfillment aspects of your life, your career, your long-term goals for the future, because we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is more of your energy, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So yeah, there could be sudden, sudden shifts or unexpected change to the future in some way, the plan that you had, your career, your home environment, family, something that's inherited. You might even be unex unexpectedly outgrowing something, Virgo, and getting very close to a new beginning something that you need coming in. 
the first we have you here um, and the queen of pentacles is definitely you and the nine of pentacles is a beautiful someone here is aspected and illustrated as a very grounded secure single self-sufficient content woman um doesn't have to be a woman but i see this this may be you being very very surrounded by your fruits working really hard but what I was going to say is we have you at this crossroads between where you've been and where you're going, what you have encountered so far and have yet to discover up ahead. So the kind of that bigger picture here, um, holding the world in your hand and you're in between two people, places or things that you're passionate about. But the two of wands is definitely a card that comes out for people who have recently or who are very soon about to find a new passion and you're kind of leaving this old path behind you, you have a new path here to choose it's a path that involves a lot of contentment on your own it might even feel a little bit like a comfortable prison that you're stuck in but at least you have um this abundance here the nine and the ten of pentacles and the queen of pentacles someone here is really secure in that tangible realm even if they are going through unexpected shifts or shock or turning of events okay um, there's new beginnings surrounding this though very exciting energy unexpectedly it might be a little anxious but yeah um, we have you kind of holding back here a little bit Virgo holding your values really close tightly to you saving your money penny pinching a little bit um, and that might be the wisest thing for you to do right Virgo you're a very smart zodiac sign very logical especially when it comes to money and service so I hope that that resonated with someone out there. Just a little bit of an extra message. If not, maybe I'll pick up on your energy here. So uh, Virgo, we have that two of wands coming out before I can even say anything. So here's that path again, that choice. Those two people, places, and things that you're passionate about and you're in between. Choosing that new path. And absolutely someone here is choosing a new path. We have the card that comes right after the two of wands in tarot coming in chronological order in your reading so we have the two and the three of wands this means that someone is going to make this choice um, they are going to choose something um, out of their comfort zone so you know you can't have comfort and, and growth you, you can't have both of those things so we have you kind of looking out this could be the very first day or so of february the first couple of weeks are being highlighted here after that leo full moon that we had on february 5th and that's in your 12th house virgo of subconscious there could be endings between now and August. Um, so you're waiting for something to come in here. You've turned your back on something and you're waiting for your shifts to come in. Maybe you're thinking about the decisions you're, you're having to make the first few weeks of February, thinking about it the very first day of February, but you know you have to wait for someone or something to come in. This could have to do with travel um, or just foresight. So you're thinking about these choices and these paths that you have and maybe there's some action that you'll be able to take in uh, a few weeks, like the first few weeks of February, very beginning of March at the very latest. But you're thinking up ahead. What else do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising? And it's the Three of Wands, but in reverse. So maybe this is something that you didn't see coming. Or maybe it's kind of hard to see the path up ahead and what things are going to look like in the next few weeks going into March. Um, done waiting on something the three of wands in reverse very very interesting it's almost stumping me but to me it's almost like um, a delay that is over and it's, it's like time to make this choice but the first few days of february are being highlighted aries leo sagittarius energy now there may be a phone call that was significant or maybe there's some kind of a second chance forgiveness something awakening your purpose it might be farther away than you thought virgo but there also may be an element here of you no longer waiting. So, uh, yeah, there's something here resurrecting from the past. This is Pluto's energy facing your fears, transformation, endings, and beginnings. Now we have the Temperance card coming out, which is Sagittarius energy. Sun, moon, or rising. Some of you guys may have that in your chart or someone else around you does. But this is Patience. So be very patient. Hopefully you were very patient the first few days of, of February because it did bring in a lot of choice. Um, this portal that you were in between, maybe you felt pushed and pulled and passionate in two different directions. So I don't know if you're wanting to kind of mix these two things together and create that perfect moderation and balance, but you definitely needed patience the first few days and you're going to need it for the first few weeks of February for some reason. We have the moon card at the bottom. Sagittarius moon may be significant. We have your opposite sign Pisces showing up. Maybe you have to be patient for Pisces season, which is around the time of the first few weeks of February. So there's something here about February 18th, February 20th, being very patient because things are unknown. There might even be fears or confusion, 
but pay attention to what's happening beneath the scenes of your emotions with this full moon in your 12th house leading up to the full moon next month in your sign virgo so yeah things are a little bit unclear and there may be fears pay attention to any dreams you're having as well now we have justice coming out with the king of cups emotional balance here this could be marriage we're gonna put these cards just like this i see scorpio libra the scorpio libra cusp which would be i believe october 17th to october 25th if i have that right um libra scorpio energy pisces cancer emotional balance though fairness equality maybe even having to make decisions based on how you feel and, and something being fair to two people's emotions in the bottom of the deck is the lover's card it was in reverse i was holding the deck in reverse so gemini energy here someone may have gemini energy sun moon arising or this is just a connection in general a choice that you may have to make the justice card talks about choice so you could kind of be indecisive emotionally you're trying to make decisions fair balanced in harmony with compassion this would be like a judge or a lawyer or some kind of elected official that actually has feelings and emotion really balanced and fair individual compassionate for themselves and others so that everything's fair and then we have this right here with the temperance so that's very balanced and fair too temperance and justice both talk about balance we have libra sagittarius and scorpio so maybe this is why, uh, you know, the three of wands in reverse represents the past. Someone here could be looking back to the past three months ago, three years ago. The three of wands in reverse to me is the two of wands. So there's a decision or something you're in between at the beginning of February or at some point in February that um, you start to look back on. You may revisit a, a decision that you had or something, something in the past. You may revisit those two paths that you had let's see if we can get more on this virgo because it is a it's a little bit interesting the messages that are coming out maybe february is a little unknown maybe it's a little confusing to you because i'm feeling that as your reader what's going on for virgo february 2023 i don't know if this is a legal decision we have the ace of swords though coming out truth and clarity a new beginning speaking your truth new conversations choosing what feels the most rational and true and victorious to you okay uh you may have new ideas or a clean mental slate you are ruled by mercury so there might even be a conversation about work or some kind of truth that is spoken amongst co-workers or collaboration um yeah this is about mentally coming together and everyone being able to speak their truth and their ideas this is your work your job there could be three people important here especially because we have the three of wands so i don't know if you're thinking about going back to an old job or revisiting something from the past and kind of choosing something different maybe maybe you were leaning towards something you were more comfortable with and now you're thinking about going back and you know choosing something a little bit more moderate fair and balanced for yourself emotionally it's very important that you feel at peace and in harmony um, we have the page of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn energy this could be you virgo so there was an offer that was important here in February, but it's, it was also important in the past. You were waiting on it. You stopped waiting on this money or this physical thing, this new job, this um, this message that's coming in. We do have a truthful message here, a, a small offer of value in the tangible realm, whether this is a job or something to do with work or money, um, but it's with the three of wands in reverse. So this offer took place in the past a few months ago or a few years ago or a few weeks ago. But it's something that you were waiting to come in for a really long time. You knew it was coming in in foresight, this little bit of money or this offer, this skill. It was very emotionally fulfilling. It was something you were wishing for, dreaming for, this job or this money or this beginning. There is a message in here. That you're going to get communication financially about this new beginning at some point. But I think it's making someone a little indecisive or unsure how to feel. There may be something that you try for a few days, Virgo, with the temperance card. We have some experimentation here where one foot is in the water, one foot is out, and that's balance. So you're kind of just, you know, there may be a new offer here with the Page of Pentacles, learning, studying, whatever this might be. It's something that could be planted in the future, though. It could grow into something really stable. Regardless of what this is, it's something that you're kind of testing out to see how it makes you feel. You're testing it out for a few days or something like that or it's something you tried a few days in the past and it's re it's revisiting 
because there was something in the past that was coming up for you. Now we have the Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There could be children involved here. Someone's got their eye on some kind of small offer, though. They want to know more about it. You want to know more about it, don't you, Virgo? You are the type to kind of inquire and study and learn something to fully understand it, to kind of um, pick it apart and logically analyze something. So this could be a spy or some kind of new beginning of truth. We have two pages here, two people of similar stat status and stature um, around the same age. So patience for communication. We've got two people coming together here with ideas and new beginnings. And it's the very start of it. It's very, very immature or it's very immature in its stage of growth, but these things can grow. So just keep that in mind with these new baby offers that um, they may turn into something a little bit different. So while you're analyzing what you're seeing and the detail you're seeing about this and the investigating you're doing with these details, that may change. We do have a Libra here, by the way. So there's something more that you want to know. You're being really patient. You're patiently watching and observing, maybe even spying, doing some detective work just to see. And I do see this Ace of Swords coming in. So communication is coming in in February while you're in between this Crossroads portal. And it's like where there was there was a clouded vision before. And now the Ace of Swords, Page of Swords is finally coming forward to clear some things up. That detail, that truth, that information, that phone call or message or contract that you needed, whatever that was, you've been patient to see it, to have it, to watch it, and to hear this. We have the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that could be you. Masculine energy, but really stable, secure. There's something financial or tangible that you're watching. It could be like a job offer or position or something or just some kind of um, seed that can be planted. And you just want to know more about it. Some of you guys, there's been communication held back. And now we have the Emperor, Aries and Libra hanging out here. Two opposite signs. That's going to be important after March. After March 20th, when we have the Aries new moon. And then we'll have the Libra full moon around, um, well, it must be April 5th or so. So that might be a time frame here. We have father figures showing up, uh, authority figures. We have legal authority, something you may need to see or know legally, legal documents, someone's boss or manager, anybody in a uniform, just father figures. Um, we have a husband showing up here with the emperor and the justice card. But um, the bottom of the deck is the Five of Cups. So that lets me know that there's some undertones in February where there's emotional conflict. There could be something that's disappointing you or someone else, Virgo. Something that didn't work out in the past. It's water under the bridge, but it's still conflicting someone's emotion. Be very careful of pessimism, though, and focusing on what didn't work out. Because there is more to be gained here. There's more... Um, you know, you haven't lost everything. So this is like that ha glass half full, half empty kind of viewpoint there. But someone could be emotionally conflicted. Stay hopeful. There are some inspiring energies coming in. We have Aquarius here. It is Aquarius season, which is all about your job, Virgo, your health, your routine. There's going to be some new beginnings that inspire you. This could be unexpected. This is Uranus energy, Uranus in Aquarius. Very uh, quirky, unique energy. So even though there's some conflict emotionally and some things that didn't work out, you're going to heal from that. There's going to be inspiration and new beginnings. And you're going to be transi transitioning to a much calmer, inspiring place. So I definitely see that there might be, um, you know, some depression or disappointment in February for you, Virgo. But don't be too sad. And now we're going to uh, pull love cards because it is Valentine's Day. I hope you guys had a good one if you celebrated. Especially because relationships are so important for Virgo at the end of February going into March. So what's going on for uh, Virgo? We've got that new moon in Pisces that are going to bring in new connections for Virgo, even if you're already coupled. We have unrequited love coming out. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So you or someone else could be feeling that. Um, I didn't mention it before, but the Page of Pentacles can be an apology. You may not have received this news or this offer or this apology, but now there's this truth coming in, this communication, and someone's wanting to make the effort. Great love is worth taking the time and the steps you're guided to take. Let's see what else we have for Virgo relationships, partnerships, love and romance for Virgo, February 2023. Any messages for Virgo in here for February 2023, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Okay, sorry if the cards are flipping over loud, but that just means that they're meant to come out. And I just briefly seen this a moment ago. Yes, this is your soulmate. 
So it's interesting that we have unrequited love on one end of the matter where there's the attraction issue, chemistry issue, but yes, this is your soulmate. So perhaps this is teaching you something very important, but you're getting to know someone as well. As you reveal your innermost self to each other, your bond deepens. So I think you're getting to know a soulmate. Let's see if there's any final messages for you, Virgo, to wrap up this reading. Love and romance, relationship, partnership messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. We've got Aries, Libra, Sagittarius showing up for you. Virgo, messages for Virgo, relationship messages for Virgo. But we do have a soulmate here. Um, okay, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Okay, so you may be having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with someone, especially with that Page of Swords, Ace of Swords. And then we have getting to know each other at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, as you reveal your innermost self, your bond deepens. So you're definitely getting to know someone, getting those heart-to-heart -heart conversations, connecting with a soulmate. And I believe we have many of those. But there's also this chemistry and attraction issue that someone may be having. And then, you know, that five of cups that showed up. So I am going to leave it here, Virgo. Thanks for listening and watching. If this resonated and you'd like a personal reading, I do offer those. Check my description box for my prices, my social media, my email, how to get a hold of me so we can collaborate. Um, but if not, I will catch you in the next video. Bye.